channel. Today is a plan with me video and it's my second one I've ever done. It's plan with me February. So I'm really excited and I'm kind of getting the hang of this bullet journal thing. So just bear with me as we keep going with this as well as I'm bearing with you. If you guys want to join my planner club on Facebook, it's open to everybody and it's called Tay's Planner Club and I will, uh, you have to ask for permission to get in but I will definitely let you in. Um, but we share our weekly spreads, we share ideas, we share our planners and I'm not biased. You can use whatever kind of planner you want to use and if you want to join our patron club, we have lots of fun stickers and I'm I'm gonna show you what our patrons came up with for this month for our patrons. So if you go ahead and join, you'll go ahead and get four back months of all of our printables as well as you'll get a ton more printables coming up every month. We give about $100 worth of free printables for your $5 that you pay to be in the club. So check out the links below if you wanna become a patron or if you wanna join the Facebook group and all that good stuff. But for now, let's get going on February. I'm really excited about this month because I love February. We've got birthdays and fun things. Okay, so let's get going. my channel I'm super excited about this video because I've been dying to jump into February so this month I am really excited I've kind of been picking and choosing everything that I wanted to use this month um, as the month was going on and I wanted to get an idea before the month started of everything I wanted to use so to start I got this really adorable paper pack at Hobby Lobby it says it's $8.99 but I got it for 50% off so this was kind of what I wanted to base everything around so with that I went and I picked some printables from our partners for this month and if you're part of our patron planner club you'll notice that every month I have some partners that I get printables from and they're available to my patrons for five dollars a month so what I'm actually using sometimes will be um, a little bit of what you guys get but you might see a little bit of different stuff but you'll definitely have the stuff that I mentioned that you'll have and then you'll also get some more because I always buy a couple extra things just so you guys can have some more fun with your spreads they don't have to look exactly like mine so this month we'll be using um, some of my uh, printables that are to all my subscribers on my blog because I love these and then this is actually from Ella Couture she sells actual printables or not printables she sells her stickers so she is one of my really good friends on YouTube but I'm gonna be using hers because she makes these adorable date night stickers and then um, we've got this fun February printable that I got from one of our partners and all the links are down below as well as through our patrons you guys get these for free I went ahead and printed these on sticker paper because you'll see in a second why it'll be a little bit easier for me and then this habit tracker which I really love because it's pink and peach and it's gonna go with my theme and this is also available to my patrons and then these fun hearts that are just like dots uh, like for to-do lists and things like that. I thought that would be fun for the month. And then these are just so cute. Fox, uh, Little Fox Planner is one of our partners and um, these may be from a couple of our planners, partners, but you'll see on my blog that I link to each Etsy store if you're interested in just getting one or two of these as well. So um, this month I'm gonna really probably be using this a lot and then these are really fun too. And then all these little doodads. Uh, this is actually two of her printables and I just scaled them down and did, if you notice this is a repeat of this up here, I just attached three together and then I cut them. So they're a little bit smaller and I did one at a time and they were really big, but I decided to make them a little bit smaller just so that I could work with them and I got more stickers out of it. So 
With that, I am gonna be using this color scheme. I'm gonna stick to one washi tape, okay, for the month. I kinda got crazy with the colors. I tried to stick to my colors, and I ended up using tons of different colors. So I'm going to commit to just carrying this around with me, and that is it. So what I've gotten here is my heart washi tape, just black and white, a pink friction pen. Um, I'm still using the friction pens just because, uh, navy blue friction pen, because I am still still learning and I do want to be able to erase. So I like to keep two black with me at all times. I like to keep most of my uh, writing in black. So I try to keep a couple of those with me. And then I bought these white gel pens, which I was really excited about, but I'm not sure if they'll work on a lot of stuff this month, but I'm debating if I should do a whole month just with white gel pens. I think it'd be fun. And then I'm just gonna use a gray for my drop shadows. And then just these two friction highlighters, which is like a teal and a pink just for accent colors and that's it. And then this is my glue pen that I can't remember where I got, but I got them in a pack of three. I gave one to Anna and I still, I just carry this one around with me. Um, but it is a planner glue pen, not sure where I got it. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy bullet journal and we are gonna get started on February. Now, if you guys wanna see more of what January actually looked like, go ahead and join the Planner Club because once January is actually finished, I am going to be sharing with you guys everything that I have done. So, I'm gonna start off my month with a very small month overview with some goals and habit trackers. This is gonna be very different than my January spread. Um, the one thing about diving into bullet journals is it really teaches you what you do need and what you don't need. So that is one thing that I definitely learned that I there are lots of things that I don't wanna do every month um, and there's lots of things that I really loved about every Every month. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some of these fun squares everywhere and then I'll go in and label them afterwards what I want them to be. So some of them are going to be goals for the month. Um, some of them are gonna be just different things, but I'm gonna leave them a little bit open so I can kind of go in and do those later. And I have a bunch of different sizes. I kind of wanted to change up the sizes on this page just so I had some blank squares to work with. And, um, and as the month comes along, I will decide what I want to put on this page because this page is, it can change. Sometimes I have a lot of birthdays. Sometimes I don't have a lot of birthdays. Sometimes we have a lot of vacations to do. Sometimes we don't. So I'm just gonna kind of decorate it with some squares. <clears throat> And the fun thing when you get sticker packets and you stick with one sticker packet is the color schemes kind of just go together. They don't, um, you know, you can mix and match them and you're not gonna get too crazy with the colors and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna keep doing stuff like this. I can do like memories on these or I can do the goals for the month. Once again, follow our group, the Planner Club in, um, sorry, the Etsy, no, not the Etsy, the Facebook Planner, Taste Planner Club is free for everybody. So join that if you guys wanna see pictures of my spread as the month goes on and all of that. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put a header here. This is just my February cover page. And um, I think I'll just pick a cute piece of paper. I really love this one. I just turned right to it and I was like, okay, I really like that one. Although I like the hearts going up and down. So I'm just gonna trim it. I could use my slicer, but since there's hearts, I just go and use the hearts as a measuring to keep it straight. Just cut right through all those hearts. And then I'm gonna go into last month's printables that you guys got. Yes, I do know that April is spelt wrong and I'm gonna be working on fixing that for you guys. So I'm sorry you guys have to print that twice, but um, unless you just skip this, this for April and do something else for April, my feelings would not be hurt. So I'm just gonna do February, February like this. And then, see I, I do, <clears throat> 
I would love to use more colors of washi tape, but I'm gonna try to stray away from washi tape as much as I can. I'm going to use a lot of stickers this month because we have so many cute ones. So I think I'm gonna use something like this down at the corner to keep that on. Oh, stickers are really sticky. <laughs> Who would have known? Okay, so I'm gonna put that there and then I'm gonna use a couple of these little doodads to, um, to spruce it up a bit. Maybe this flower, of course I had to use this flower because it's so cute. Okay, and I do like, I'm gonna put the little gym one on there just because February I'm really, really focusing on the workout portion of my fitness. <clears throat> this last month I really worked on my nutrition part and started to nail that down. So this month I'm really going to focus on my workouts. I'm gonna force myself to work out for an hour and a half a day. And it might sound crazy, but my rest of my year is so crazy busy that if I don't nip it in the bud right now, I am not going to get in the habit of it. So I'm really thinking something needs to be right here. Maybe I'll do a, a cute, uh, I'm not traveling, but I really want to use this plane. I've been, I saw it and I was like, I want to use that plane, but February is actually a month I'm not traveling in. Surprise, surprise. Although I didn't know I was going to be traveling in January and then creativation popped up. So that's kind of fun. Okay, I might do like a little overlappy just because that negative space was really bugging me. And then I might do some cute little doodads from this guy just to spruce up this page a little bit. So in our plan with me is I just am kind of going to do the decorating part. I'm not gonna actually go into the actual stuff that I'm doing that month. Um, for you to know and want to follow that kind of stuff, that's where I take pictures each week of my spreads. And you'll notice that January spreads were pretty crazy because I was trying out a bunch of different things and it turned out really fun, um, but it was very chaotic so check that out if you want to see those okay so that's my entry page I will put a picture here or maybe um, cut out some heart-shaped pictures of me and my hubs and I'm gonna do a video on how to do that pretty soon so then the next one is going to be um, my cleaning logs my daily logs my daily weigh-in and things like that so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna use these guys and separate them into 30 days. Actually, let's see how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Those span 22 days. So that would be nice if um, those span 30 one days. That would be great. Maybe I'll have to design some or find someone who maybe does that. So I'm just gonna lay these guys out for trackers and I might have to uh, go in and divide them by 31 or however many, actually February is only 28 days so I only have to divide them into 28 days. So I think I'm gonna do like my cleaning tracker, my cleaning log, well there'll be different logs on those. So I'm gonna do a cleaning log, my goals, daily weigh-in, my calorie log, so that will be like specific numbers that I want to log. And I can do some sideways like this. So you can go down 28. And I'm gonna write in how many calories I ate and then like my workout hours. Like so this is, this is more of like, instead of just habit tracking, I'm going to write the actual details of the habits. So then for here, I wanted to put just a, very small month, like an entire month overview. Um, so I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm not sure exactly how I want to do that yet. So this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be my habit tracker. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to just stick this onto the page. Now this might take me a second to be able to get it off of this sticker paper because it's a straight line. And this one is by Amy Today Printables. 
So this is one of our printable partners and I'm gonna be doing a lot of habit trackers each month, different kinds, because I like to change it up to go with my theme, but I have learned that habit trackers are very important and very fun actually to have in your planner. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm actually, I printed out two of these actually because I found that I really like the habit trackers. I can track so many different types of things um, and I don't have to, I didn't have to just do one. I could print two and do a two thing, two times spread if I wanted to. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And I totally forgot that this is one of my favorite things that I did for January was I bookmarked the spot of the month or the start of the month with my washi tape. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to go with one theme of washi tape because for January I did black and white stripes and then in my um, key I put where each thing was. So starting in February, I'm going to put a little piece of this and then I can see where February actually starts. I'm gonna cover the outsides and then any times I do tabs, they will have the black and white hearts. So then it all goes together. So I'm just using this washi tape for um, the decorating, extra decorating because I didn't cut this exactly the size. Okay, my washi tape, there we go having an issue with it. So I can cut it just a little bit longer than the page so that I can wrap it around and then those little pieces will stick out when my journal is closed so it makes finding February just a little bit easier. And I really love how I did this on sticker paper so that it's stuck. Um, the sticker paper I buy is in my Amazon store so check that out because I get it for super cheap and it works great with printers. Um, I really love the Cricut um, products as much as I love them. Um, the sticker paper just doesn't work for a lot of people's printers that I found. So I have been recommending the one that I have in my Amazon store. Plus it's really cheap. It's like $17 for a hundred pages of it. So you cannot go wrong with that. Okay. So I'm just going to decorate. Alrighty. And for my large month, I'm just going to use this that I printed out onto sticker paper. So I'm just going to cut this out and stick this onto the pages. So I'm ready to stick them on and for a fun little element, I took out some papers and I'm going to stick this onto here. And what that's gonna actually create is kind of like a pocket I can keep things in on both sides. So I'll show you how I plan to do that. You'll notice that it's stuck down really good, but you still have this kind of spot back here that if you really wanted to, say you had like some to-do list or something you wanted to carry along with you, you could keep that right inside there and it's pretty snug even. And then for this one, it's actually gonna become a pocket and this one may as well from the bottom because I am going to washi sheet the sides, washi tape the sides. Um, so that I can indicate that this is where February actually is. Of course, this washi tape wants to be difficult at the moment. So sometimes washi tape, um, a little hack that maybe you can try is you just score it so that you get a nice straight line and you can start over like a new fresh piece peeling up, if that makes sense. Hopefully I didn't score through two sides. Nope, okay. So now I have a nice straight piece again. And then when I am doing the sides of my page, I don't like to go all the way off the corner because then it kind of leaves this funky edge. So I like to rip it just a little bit before the start of um, the actual corner of the page. So when I close this, you'll see that there's 
a nice little line right there that I can turn to and I know exactly where my month of February is. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for February. I love how simple and pretty it is. And then we're gonna do a two week spread. So I went ahead and already did this one because I didn't wanna do two at the same time with you guys, but I wanted to show you how I did this and why I like my two week spread. So, um, this is actually all done with stickers. I wrote out a couple little things like the date and the monthly or the weekly to do's and the week of, um, but everything else is done with stickers. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on the next page. Um, so I like to lay out one week per page and it helps me just kind of like be prepared for the next week that's coming up and then it uses less pages in my bullet journal because I really only need two spreads for the whole month. And then I like to use extra little sheets of paper like this in case there's more to do's that I need to get to. Sticky notes are really fun too, but I like to keep it all on one spot when I'm going you know, two weeks out so that I can just keep a track. And then one thing that I've started doing that I really find productive is I number my to-dos. So right here I put number one and then I do the to-do at number two. And then for the day that I'm gonna do it, I just write like a little circle and put the day uh, or the to-do list, the to-do number. That way I can just check it off and it doesn't take up a ton of space in my actual day and I can leave that for appointments and stuff like that. So. Let's get working on this. How I did this was I used up um, some of my stickers and I actually, before I started the week on this round, I wanted to kind of give it some decor behind it because once I finished that one, I realized there was a lot of just kind of space um, that could have been pretty behind those. So I just wanted to try out some of these fun stickers like this and then to lay out my days of the week, I'm using my stickers that are free to all of my subscribers. Now, you can really get crazy, you just need seven. So you can do them along, like six this way and one down here. You can do how I like to do. I just like to leave space for my to-do list over here. So um, as long as I have room for a to-do list, then I am good. And as long as you have seven squares, then you have a day a square for every day, you should be good. You, you don't have to use seven, you can use six and just divide the weekend into two squares if you want. So I'm just gonna kind of lay these out just a little different than I did the one before. Um, I'm gonna do, I think I will do the weekend split on this one, just so I can use less squares. So then this will actually be a weekend. So I'll take just a pen and you can divide it in half or you can divide it like this or you can use smaller squares if you'd like to. I might just do that just to give it a Sunday down here. So this will be Saturday and Sunday. And then you'll do week of somewhere. So we can do week of, and then I'll write the week blank to blank and then I'll do my to-dos. But the way I liked to do my to-dos was to use another little sticker. I think I used one from, I'll just use a little bullet one like this. This is kind of cute. So, weekly to-dos. To-dos. And then I ended up using my my dots rather than the heart dots for this part because I had more on there and I sometimes have a lot to do in a week, especially doing these two week spreads. If you don't have enough room for them, then, um, well, okay, I can't find the dotted ones right at the second. I'm not sure what I did with them. So that's basically one week. You can spruce it up with some washi tape if you want to. Um, can give it just a little extra pop of cute okay we only have a little piece of wash tape so we'll do that now what's going on over here we don't want to take up too much space on that page so there's one week and then we'll do the second week and then we'll be good okay 
So my two week spreads look like this and then I will go in and use my weekly days to put the days on there and then that will be done and this entire spread will be shown to you at the end of this video. So the next page is going to be my brain dump page and what I've decided for this page is I just want to put a header on this and how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put my header here and I'm gonna write brain dump on here. Um, so brain dump. Basically what this page is gonna be is for me to just draw out, write out anything that is on my mind at the moment and I'm just gonna add these sheets of paper in because it'll give me extra space to write if I need it and then if I don't need it, I can take them out later but um, I don't know how much space I will need and I don't wanna use up too many pages in my bullet journal because I divided all of the page numbers by 12 and I can really use about 15 pages per month if I don't want to overuse my journal like if I want to actually make it last the whole year so I'm just gonna add these extra little pages wherever I can so that I can just get crazy with this and now the fun thing about using these um, papers is they're really fun to look at and they um, you can just decorate them really fun so Maybe I want to do a title on just this one. Maybe this one is a brain dump about like a vacation or something that I did specifically. Um, or maybe I want to keep something secret so I tack this down or I hide one in a pocket or something. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm talking about with the washi tape coming off of the corner. I don't really like that. It gets kind of gunky. So I try to not let it like ball, like ball up on the sides. So once you have a couple extra pages in there, then you could decorate it however you want. You don't have to do a brain dump if you don't want to. But I have found that I absolutely love just coming up with dumb things out of my head. And sometimes I just need a random place to put them. So then I'm just gonna put some cute stickers everywhere so that I can um, write on them later or I can, I can decide what I want them to be. So, okay, so that's just my brain dump page and I can do whatever I wanna do with that page. Then the next is just gonna be my journal and reflection page. I'm actually gonna do the same thing. I cut one piece of paper in half and um, used that as one little piece. So I am just going to put a couple extra little pieces of paper on here. And that's the one thing I found that some months I liked to journal a lot and some months I don't. So I don't wanna take up too many pages if I'm not gonna end up using them but I do want to have lots of space just in case I have a lot to journal about or reflect on and things like that. And then also on this page, I wanted to add, um, which I'll just make one of these them. I wanted to make one of these my daily prayers and prayer requests. Um, that way I can keep them just like in a little spot so I can flip them over and read what I was praying about that week or that month. Um, so I can do like answered prayers, answered and pending prayers. How about that? So I can do my um, thanking God for the things that he has uh, answered, even though I know he answers every, every prayer. That is just a place where I can put that. Okay, so that is the end of that, but I did wanna go back and show you what I came up with for my overview page. Um, this is gonna be a running to-do list, and all I'm gonna do is just put running to-dos, and I'm gonna make tabs of paper. The cool thing about this 
is I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of washi tape on these so that I can keep one for like, um, if I need to take this with me, I can just grab it and run to the store and then come back and put it back in. Or I can um, leave it in there and bring my whole book with me. So I'm just gonna kind of tack these down just a tiny bit and then I will keep my running to-dos um, in here. So I'll probably put just like a little tack on uh, each little part so that they stay down, but very, very minimal tacking it down. So just like a tiny little piece so that I can lift them up and then reposition them back down so that they're not flopping all over the place. Okay, so the overview of February looks like this. I've got my just random thing that I can add my goals to, my weight tracker, whatever I decide. Then my cover page that I can add a photo to at the end of the month. Then I have my um, another tracker that I'm gonna be using, which I will show you guys exactly what I did with it in in, on Instagram or is definitely in the planner group on Facebook and then my running to-do list which is gonna be super functional I know because I needed one um, my habit tracker which I'm in love with and I printed two and then my monthly overview which everyone knows how to use one of those and my weekly spread my two week spread, my second two week spread, which I'm gonna go in and finish and show you guys at the end. Then my brain dump and my journal reflection and prayers page. And that is it. And then I will see you guys again in March. So enjoy the overview of the finished product. Love you guys.